From a flat sheet of steel, they create a part that is asked to do the impossible, remain rigid, yet deform precisely when required. First, the steel strip is marked and cut along the lines into individual blanks. Before pressing, the surface is quickly wiped to remove dust and oil, then covered with a thin plastic film to prevent unwanted marks during forming. Minutes later, the blank comes out of the press with its first curves. But that is not enough. The part is sent back into the press where everything that does not contribute to strength is removed without hesitation, leaving only the main load-bearing ribs. This becomes the inner structure of the hood. At the same time, other workers cut identical steel strips and repeat the process on a different die to form the outer panel. Once both parts are ready, small metal reinforcements are welded onto the inner frame, and the hood latch is welded precisely at the load-bearing point. Adhesive is then applied in dots. The inner and outer panels are joined, and the edges are carefully closed with hammer blows. The hood is sent into the press one last time, not to shape it, but to permanently lock the entire structure in place. The surface is wiped with gasoline, coated with primer on both sides, and placed in a drying oven. After drying, another layer of adhesive is applied along the inner edge. Finally, the hood is packaged and ready for shipment.